When we were rebuilding Fiddler from the ground up, one of the most frequent feature requests that we received from within our community was the ability to collaborate. And with Fiddler Everywhere, we have made collaboration an integral part of the tool. So within Fiddler Everywhere, you can seamlessly collaborate with your teammates sitting anywhere across the world. In this video, I'm going to quickly demonstrate how you can collaborate using Fiddler Everywhere. Right now, I have a couple of web sessions loaded from the NASA website. As you can see, a couple of these sessions are throwing a 404 error and these sessions need to get checked. Using collaboration, we are going to report these faulty sessions to the concerned team members. To begin, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the sessions that have come from within the NASA website. To do that, I right click on the main session and click on select and click on child request. This automatically selects all the requests that were sent and received when the NASA website was loaded. Now I am going to save this request by right clicking on any of the requests and then clicking save selected sessions. I'm going to name the session as NASA website and I'm going to click the save button. Now as you can see the session is saved and is available in my sessions uh, tab. When I click it, it opens a new tab with all the sessions saved in the NASA website. Now that I've managed to save the sessions, I'm going to highlight the sessions which seem to have a problem and are throwing a 404 error. To do that, I'm going to right click the session and click on mark. Now I can either st strike out or I can change the color to a different one. So in this case, I'm going to strike out this session and I'm going to change the color of the other session to copper. So this helps me quickly identify sessions which I need to highlight. To add more context to these sessions, I can also add comments. To do that, I need to right click and click on comment. To comment a pop-up will open and you can add your comments in there. Now to share the saved sessions, I'm going to click the share button at the top and provide the email address of my teammate who requires to access this session. When I click the share button, this session will be shared via email to the required person. And there you go, the session has been shared with the particular person. Alternatively, I can also right click the required session in the sessions tab and click on share. Now this session has been shared with two of my teammates. If at any point I need to manage the permissions or manage the users who have access to this particular session, I can change that by clicking up on manage users. So for example, I'm going to revoke access to Jonathan and I'm going to update this. So now only one user can access the sessions which I have shared. So all of this can be seamlessly managed from within Fiddler Everywhere. The other thing that I might want to do is share my request collections, which I have saved using the request composer so right now i have a couple of collections right here from which one is the twitter v2 apis now if i need to share this collection all i need to do is right click and click on share and again enter the email address to whom i want to share the collection with Click on share and this collection will automatically be shared via email to the required user. And there you go, it has been shared. I can do the same with even the autoresponder rule sets. In this case, I am going to only share one of these rules which simulate the delay. And to do that, I need to click the share button right here. I need to provide a rule name. Click on next. And then again, enter the email address of the person to whom you want to share the rule with. 
click share and it will be shared with the person via email. So these are some of the collaboration features that come in Build with Fiddler Everywhere. I'm excited to know how you have been using Fiddler Everywhere to collaborate within your team. Do let us know.